Welcome to Five Pints In, a podcast about everything football with Ian Bishop. Uh, I'm Jordan Bishop. I'm here with Connor Bishop and Ian Bishop, of course. Now, I'm going to hand it over to Ian Bishop to explain a little bit about what we're talking about here. All right. Well, Five Pints In, it's, um, it's a place when you get to in life, when, you, when you're all five pints in, it's a happy place. And, and I just figured uh, this is going to be a lot of fun. We have a chat every week. We phone each other up. We compete with the scores. And, and you know, this is just a way for us to stop me venting at the telly every weekend. And uh, probably stop me with me drunken tweets on a Saturday night. If I know that I'm going to um, get everything out on the podcast. Um, five pints in, the five, I suppose, uh, coincides with the five clubs I played for in England as well. So it all fits and... What better than to sit with me two boys? Just don't call me dad. <laughs> All right, so um, lots to talk about and let's get on with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so just to introduce us a little bit. I mean, we've been, obviously grew up in a football house with Ian being our dad. Uh, just don't yeah, call him dad. dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, 12 seconds in. Yeah, no, five pints in it's called. All right. um, yeah, but... Uh, so just to give some preface, I mean, is that a word? Preface. <laughs> kind of. Um, I mean, I think it's okay to reveal our 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 loyalties with the the no, teams we that. support. Or, I, I mean, Connor's sitting. Them, yeah. There'll be some unhappy West Ham fans, to be honest with you. Yeah. So um, I'm I'm a Man City fan, and Connor's a Chelsea fan. <laughs> so. Yep. Yeah, he's sitting in here here in a Chelsea shirt now. Um, yeah, don't know where that came from, but that's all right. Well, I'm a Man City fan, West Ham fan, Carlisle fan, Everton fan, Bournemouth fan, Miami Fusion fan, and an Arsenal fan. Sounds really uh, not yeah. an England fan, no. He's just not reading, really. not at the minute, no. He's just reading down the list of teams in every <laughs> <Yeah>. single league, <laughs> trying to please everyone. Um, all right, so let's just jump into it. Then this is the first episode. We're gonna. Uh, hopefully do an episode every week hopefully you know you'll enjoy it let us know what you like write in questions that you have for Ian um, you know and we'll just try and grill him as much as we can and get get the truth out of him yeah this is this is, this is the intro isn't it and and hopefully as we go along we'll build up and get some guests on and uh, ex-players and, and yeah. friends of mine Highly, yeah. and, and maybe if I'm brave enough I might let them tell some stories about me as well as long as they don't get me in the in a doggy doo-doo <laughs> All right. Um, so let's jump into the first uh, the first topic we're going to talk about today. Um, and you've quite rightly named it VAR holes. <laughs> that was his idea, obviously, and that sort of gives you a little bit of a idea of where this podcast is going to go and the style of it and everything. So um, I'm sure there's a lot of people that agree with that name, the way it's been going. Um, it is very confusing. Yeah. And. Well, let's go back. What what is VAR? What like what is it? What is it meant to do? What does it do? It's supposed to be the video assisted referee, I think it is. Um, but it's some nuggets sitting in sitting in their own toilet, chirp, <laughs> chirping from their well, toilet the, seat. Who else's toilet do you sit in? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they're in a toilet somewhere near Heathrow. So yeah. they're, they're not even they're not even at the games. And and to be fair, it's the same people. That are making mistakes in the middle of the field that are sitting in that room. It's refs, yeah. Making mistakes after looking at it 10, 15 times. Yeah. It just goes to show that the standard of it and, and how confusing it's become is ridiculous right now. And, and I don't think there's many football fans, players as well, that would disagree with that. Right. I mean, we hear openly <clears throat> each week there's, there's players. I mean, I just think back to the Charlie Austin interview after um, Southampton lost yeah. a... I forget who they played um, a couple months ago, but he was outraged by VAR. Last year, yeah. Yeah, um, and like basically they're just, they're just. If you're a referee and you make a decision and then you see it again, I mean, first of all, they're not even going to the to the screens on the side of the pitch, are no, they? No. But they're gonna still have. They're not gonna want to admit they're wrong. Basically, all you're saying is, do you want to admit you were wrong or do you want to go with your decision? They're gonna keep going with that decision, aren't they? I mean, well, I, I just think. I mean, if we go to to, to uh, Connor's team, Chelsea with the Tottenham game. Uh, Lo Celso uh, an absolute horrendous tackle if you can even call it a tackle because there was no intent for going for the ball a tackle is when two people are, are trying to get the ball but uh, no intent the referee is 15 yards from a screen 
doesn't want to walk over and look at it and make his own decision. Right. And then by all accounts, they say it wasn't a clear and obvious error by the referee. And it, it's not a, not a yellow, not a red. What is it? You know, there's, there's players getting away with stuff like that. And yet, for the slightest other little things, people are getting red carded. You know, if you go back to Obama Young against Palace, I think what referees don't understand the, the sort of nuance of the game and, and the type of characters the certain players are, where they've got to look at it and go, was the real intent from somebody like him? And, uh, okay, players can con referees and they mm. do it all the time, but, but but they have to know the characters, their personalities, like Son, you know, when he unfortunate incident with Gomez, who, you know, happily enough came back today at, at Arsenal, so, you know, which is, which is good news after a horrific... I don't know. Was it ankle break or ankle? Yeah, I mean, it was high. It was higher. We were looking at the picture of the ankle today when he when yeah. he came back on, um, you know, on Saturday and and or Sunday, sorry. And it it's it, become laughable. It, yeah. To, to be honest, the VAR yeah. has become laughable, and I I depicted it as being the the game now for me is sometimes unwatchable, and and I dubbed it the new wrestling. Yeah. With all the acting that goes on in that, I remember when I stopped watching wrestling when I thought. Oh, this isn't real anymore. Right, yeah. You know, and football's becoming the same way. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because we were watching the, the rugby game, England, Ireland, weren't we? And we were talking about how, how the referees... I mean, don't get me wrong, my allegiance is always going to lie with football over rugby because, I mean, that's that's what I've always watched, you know? I mean, the rugby was great, though, and the referees actually communicate. Well, you can actually hear them right. saying and talking to the players. Referees in football, I don't believe, want that because of how stupid they may sound. Yeah. You know, and, and the rules that they've done and changed, they've complicated the game. The offside rule, I think, should be simplified again. Well, did you hear about Arsene Wenger? I mean, did you hear about did, did you hear about Arsene he's Wenger? He's going to get involved, yeah. He's well, gonna, he's, yeah, he's, VAR. he's saying, uh, no, with the offside rule. So we're trailing a little bit, but it's all going to come back to VAR, obviously, because that's what governs this. But he said, um, he, he said he thinks we should change the rule of offside to if any part of the attacking player... Any part of their body is in line with the last defender, they should be on side. Would it? I mean, that's. I, I think that's, that you're still, you're still going to get them ridiculous. lines. You think it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. You're, st- you're still going to get the lines, but it's going to be further. Along, exactly. You know what I mean? So it is going to be still fine lines. There's still going to be an armpit that's yeah. that's yeah. or a toe or whatever it is. I just think it would have. I mean, the thing for me with the offside rule as well is is when a, a front man maybe goes and closes the the keeper down, the keeper launches it, it comes back, and I think. Jordan Henderson scored a goal that way mm-hmm. um, when the ball had been cleared by Alexander Arnold. Firmino was on side. Jordan Henderson still really hadn't got back. Yeah. So you can't blame the defenders for pushing out, but he's still left in. I still think it should be any player who's offside yeah. is offside. No, you don't, you don't agree? No, that's laziness. That's, you learn that at 10 years old. If you're defending, if you've ever played as a defender, you learn. All right, forget him. We know we're gonna. He's not. So he's offside. That's yeah, he's offside. Saying. Forget about that, him. Yeah. Like keep a little eye on him just in case he tries to come back. But as you see him walking behind you, forget about him. Everything's in front of you. But today people talk about phases of play, and, and if he's the ball's gone forward, he's not being picked up. He's, he's now found tons and tons of space, and the defenders won't pick him up. So now they're going back with Firmino as he pulls back towards his own goal, yeah, yeah, yeah. towards the edge of the penalty box. He can knock He's not getting through, picked yeah. up. And then it comes to him, it's cut back to him, and he puts it in the top corner. Yeah, so. but doesn't that have something to do with defending IQ? Doesn't Exactly, that, yeah, exactly. That, like, you've seen that Ronaldinho thing where he goes over to the keeper, <clears throat> gets water from the keeper, and it's a throw yeah. I think he was playing for Flamingo at the time, and he gets, he's drinking the keeper's water, the water, he's to- talking to the keeper... Right. And he trickles off to the side, gets the, and then guys a long throw. Ronaldinho's like about twenty yards offside, but he's obviously yeah. offside with a throw, and then plays it, and they score. Okay. That's smart from Ronaldinho. You know? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, but I mean, okay, VAR. I think I think we've we've done done for right now. Um, that's going to probably come up every single week anyway. So what, what I what I don't understand is they interview the players or the keeper after the game if they have had a good game, and they go, "Well, how do you score that goal?" And it's like. Well, we know how he scored the goal. Why isn't? Mm-hmm. Why don't we like instead like, the forget ref. the players? Yeah, like get the get put a mic in front of the ref and say why did you make this call? Is that, that, yeah, that because the you PGM, sent someone off. Yeah, the PGML will never want their refs to be accountable and speak on their behalf because because no. a lot of the time it a lot of the time the problem is like the I mean the referees are make ridiculous decisions as do the VAR refs. 
But a lot of the times it comes down to the rule, like how clear is that rule yeah, and yeah. how it's written and they yeah. try to write it and rewrite it and the there's always going to be subjectivity. Yeah. That's nail on the head. That's what I'm saying. That they've been messing with them, toying with the rules, right. toying with the rules, trying to, trying to make it better to all intents and purposes yeah. to be fair and trying to make the game flow a little bit and, and things be clear, but they just scrambled it all well, up. Well, yeah, like, and there's know. no consistency. No, so that's, clearly that's, that's the biggest why thing. you can point fingers at like teams like Liverpool yeah. that get away with stuff right, and you think that's right, why right. they're winning. Well, there's no bre- right. there's a breakdown. That's not why they're winning. No, I'm saying, but like, you, it's blatantly obvious you see yeah. City get more stuff against them for VAR than, than Liverpool. Well, do, I biasly you know. agree. Well, well, who's to know? Who's to know that fella in the VAR room isn't a fan of that team? Exactly. exactly. Like, yeah. You see Mike Dean celebrating Tottenham goals. And I, I, honestly, <laughs> I honestly do believe that um, there should be ex-players involved maybe sitting in that room with the referees mm-hmm. to maybe educate right. and, and explain certain nuances of the game that, that the referees don't know. Because I honestly don't believe that after they finish the game, referees, that they'll go for a pint with their mates, watch another game uh, as football fans you know yeah. you yeah. can tell that they've been the ones from school who had no girlfriends well, yeah. and uh, <laughs> was probably taking acting classes yeah <laughs> apologies to any referees <laughs> listening no no not at all not sure. at all no not at all uh yeah. <laughs> all right let's let's have done with VAR yeah it's going I mean, yeah, it, to it's gonna come up every yeah. week and personally i think the main points here are consistency <clears throat> A uh, lack of communication yeah. and Unbiased. get your head out your ass. Your back, you know, <laughs> educate them in yeah. some way about the game itself. Exactly. Simple thing. Someone yeah. pulls your shirt backwards, you don't fall forwards. Yeah, it, it's obvious for me. I, like I was saying with the, um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to call out a name. Not that like you will hear this right now, but like I was saying to you earlier, I was, I was saying to you earlier about how one of your favorite players is kind of conformed into. Um, <clears throat> agreeing with other people with today's game because he wants to be on the television. He wants to get that paycheck because they yeah. weren't paid. And he's one of the best players ever. He, he, he's not paid as much as the average person plays today. So he needs to be consistently on the television. Why don't you get those players, give them a good salary, stick them in the VAR, and, you know, just yeah. for the game. They get I, said that the about, game that. I said that about refereeing courses as well because... You know, players in the lower league don't earn what the Premier League players are. So give them that, That's carry perfect. on that standing of living yeah. for the next 10, 15 years by going. On. How many players would want to do it? I don't know because it's a thankless job at the end of the day. I mean, yeah. yeah. It? Like, it's, like, let's, it's have have let's have done with VAR. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. Yeah, anyway. so again, it's going to come up week in, week out. But <clears> anyway, moving on to someone who VAR probably needs to look at quite a bit um, with his diving. Talking about Raheem Sterling, um, I think I think you know as a Man City fan myself, and I know um, you have similar opinions. This isn't the you know this isn't the uh, the popular opinion, but Sterling, I mean, he's done something this week. He's posed on the cover of a magazine mm. with a Spanish magazine with two shirts over his shoulders, uh, a Man City shirt and a Real Madrid shirt, and it pisses me off. Um, well, well, you, look. You hear Pep say he's not he's not concerned about what his players do, what his players say. But what you've got to realise is players are being governed by agents, and as soon as they get a sniff, it's obviously connected to the ban as well. If he's not going to be playing Champions League next season, yeah. Um, obviously, agents want either new deals or 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 moves because that's how they make their money. So. It, it can work two ways um, with players. I don't believe you should be holding anybody else's shit yeah. to tell you the truth at any time, apart from the team that you're playing for. Um, there's obviously something underlying to it, uh, I do feel. I think it could, in a sense, uh, trigger... Uh, six beers in. <laughs> six pints in. Six beers in. Six pints, it could, in, yeah. it, six pints in, yeah, sorry. It could trigger the reaction to get an extension to your own contract at your club as well. So it could, it, it works both ways, but you can yeah. guarantee that there's something in that article and that picture, which, which I don't agree well, with. But the main, the main, the main <clears throat> point of the article and, you know, I mean, again, it goes back to the agents, but the main point of the article he made was he's still contracted with city and he's saying that, but that's not saying I'm loyal to city, you know, I mean, you know, whatever happened, on the books with with City's two years two year ban and whatever will happen with the two year ban from UEFA, the players should still. Be, I mean, Pep said he's committed. You know, uh, Gabriel Jesus said he's committed. Uh, I think Bernardo Silva came out and said he's committed. Like, 
But look, but look, when 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 Barcelona or Real Madrid come calling, mate. You, yeah, but not it, in this. It raises your eyebrow. You yeah, can't help it. But you, not. You, but you in this manner, it. though, it's like it, again, like you said, you shouldn't be posing with somebody else's shirt no. over your shoulder. It's no, just definitely not. I think. Okay. To be fair to Sterling as well, though, he's not the worst. No. When you're saying about the diving, but I think he's he's I'll actually the worst got with diving, he's no. actually got better. But there's worse players in the league today I yeah mean, 100% Richarlison I mean Richarlison's a, a, a shambles what what I don't get is is when you fall down five or six times and don't get a free kick not one why doesn't the referee book you to stop yeah. it this is what gets me I think it would stop many of the VAR stuff don't want to go back to it <laughs> but once they have been yelled I remember Son we talked about that that accidental injury he if he'd have been booked for diving for a penalty, which he, he, he did. If he'd have been booked for that, he may not have even gone near to make any sort of challenge because he knows he's on a yellow card. I just think something needs to be done yeah. to stop it. Um, the lad Grealish, what, what a talent. Okay, let's. He, he has got great ability when he plays, but when you look at the stats, the most fouled player in the league. Yeah. Not, not most foul, most fouled. Yeah. And how many times has he fallen down? It's a disgrace. It, it absolutely ruins the game for me, and and like I said earlier, makes it unwatchable. It's it's frightening to see. You know, I've seen Madison do it. You know, it's Mace, just, Mason Mount. It's worse when it's English players as well because yeah, like, that's yeah, that's that, what, that was like when, especially when we <clears> grew up. Like we were born in the mid nineties, yeah, early nineties. Um, grew up. I mean, not nothing against like foreign players or anything like that. they were always known as a talent but English were always known as the the tough ones as yeah as like English uh, at least English players don't dive and now that it crept in it's well, like <clears throat> now, like, now they don't care like it, obviously it's, it's playing, not lack yeah. of pride you know like, playing in the mid 90s when the foreign lads started to come in and I thought you know I'm what? not saying every foreign no I know yeah no I know you've, you've you did stress it was English players as well but um when they did start to come in, I thought, you know what? If they can adapt to the English league, exactly. fair play to them. They belong here. And there's been some great players. I, Canton, Arzola, Bergkamp, yeah. you know, Henri. I mean, you can list them. Yeah, you know, yeah. Fiali, Who were the know. best ever in England oh, to play. Oh, fantastic yeah. players, man. And I, got the, I had the pleasure to you play know, against yeah. them, didn't I? And, you know, be on the same uh, arena as them, which was, which was amazing. So, you know, to see them up close, to see them on the telly is one thing. To see them up close and watch them take the piss out of you, to be yeah. fair, which... Most of them did, yeah. Um, you know, but but now you're getting the youngsters, their role models. They're watching their role models fall over, and and when they come through, they they think that's the thing to do. And even with the new breed of supporter, they're accepting of it. And the game, that's all they know, yeah. Yeah, the game f- for me has changed, and it obviously is going to evolve. But evolve, I want in a positive way. Do you think there's any way, um, any way back? I I I mean, personally, the momentum's. Going book, the way it's them, going. book them, mate. Just, yeah. just, just but, book them. Take away their, their what they are so supposed they to love. Are, yeah. Take away their, take away their money. Find them. To, you know, it's not going to happen though. But, but they can do yeah. it. You right. know, in retrospect, they can do it after the game also. You yeah. know, if they've missed something, let's watch it. Was it a dive? Yeah. Given that, or yellow. just VAR? I mean, not to go back to VAR, the first topic, yeah, but like just, back, that, yeah. like just, just That's use what it's VAR called, for it? diving. That's yeah. what it's like you said with the. The uh, VAR said twenty minutes later, "Oh, we were wrong." We were wrong, yeah. But the game was How still the game was still going on. So get them off the pitch. Well, yeah. You see I someone mean, spit take, in someone's you, face. You see someone do something out of that. Yeah. That's not within yeah. the rules. You still gotta, yeah. Like, no matter what, because he knows what he did. Go, course, go yeah. up to him. You can show him the footage and say, "Look what you did." You gotta get off the pitch. No matter, like, but that's the whole thing. Like the whole thing with the Bournemouth. Where he's, that was a fiasco, wasn't it? it? Yeah, but he's got, he's got. That's one of the ones that are going to get talked about uh, for the whole um, 2019, 2020 season. How it got brought back after a goal because that was always going to happen eventually, right. you know. So let's say he scored <clears throat> after doing that to Aspley Equator. Yeah. Not that it looked like it hurt or anything because he should be up to that. And I, I still have like quarrels against Aspley Equator screaming like he did. Yeah, but. Even so, why can't you go back and say, "Oh, sh- uh, oh, you got to get off," you know, like because they they pulled it back the goal. Like, why can't you pull back twenty minutes of play and say? Well, that comes back to like where what is a phase? Like a phase is such a broad term. Like yeah. you're saying, was that part of this phase or was it part of the last phase? Is it when the ball goes out? What if you're watching a team like City who keep yeah. the ball in play for you know the majority of the a, game, a long yeah. time? All I, right, mate. Then okay, okay, let's let's 
I think move away from that. What what about this ban? What about the we talked about players maybe wanting Champions League and what yeah. about this ban if it kicks in? You know, um, it's going to be a, a massive blow to the club, I think, and and the shit will hit the fan, I think, yeah, with, yeah. with some would, sections of the. The thing is, the thing is though <clears throat> about Man City, it's like the fans have experienced harder times. <laughs> yeah. you know? Tell like, me about it. Tell yeah. me about it. I was there. So I mean, <clears throat> you know, it's it's. I mean, it's. I mean, it's just it's ridiculous, you know. And who knows who knows what happened behind the scenes. I mean, it's nothing to do with the players or Pep or. Or the coaching staff. I mean, it's about the numbers, isn't it? It's about the. Uh, it's about the. Um, I mean, it was way before Pep, wasn't it? Well, yeah. If they're going back. Yeah, it was. It years, was, yeah. but it's. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's. It would be sad, but you know, I don't. I don't. I think. I mean, City are obviously going to fight it. They're going to appeal to uh, the. Uh, they're going to appeal to Cass, and. Right. It, it, I think it'll come down to a year, and I think I think as a player like you know Kevin De Bruyne. Um, Aguero. I mean, Aguero's locked in for another few years. Silva. Like, well, Bernardo Silva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think they'll stick around for a year. You know, I, think, I mean, I focus on the Premier was, League, yeah. the yeah. domestic cups. Like, I, I don't think De Bruyne played in in for Wolfsburg, Wolfsburg in Germany, yeah. which is, I would say, the second best league in the world. Yeah. And I think he knew even then I can't not play in the Premier League for the rest of my life. Right. Because he has. Yeah. I mean, you can tell he. Like he, like he gets yeah. frustrated with certain players because they're not up to a certain standard of yeah. Yeah, and uh, he, is, he is for me the best all-round footballer in the world. A hundred percent. I mean, you can't, say, does you everything. can't say that. You can't I, I, all around. Said it. What yeah. do you mean all around? Like uh, he does everything. What I'm saying, he does everything. I, what does he scores he, goals. He makes goals. What does he, he works what hard. Does he he do tackles. That Messi doesn't do. You know. Oh, still defensively. You know, I, I get what you're saying. Like, defensively, yeah. I get what you're yeah. saying. If you say like Messi's a monster and he's uh, out of this earth and he's on another planet, then you can't consider him in the ranking because he's in his no. own couple. I think, I think he's planet, the so. I think he's the heir to the throne. Then, okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, because eventually Messi's gonna slow down. Yeah, you know. You Let's, think? Then he could just push back into midfield and do what? What he's gonna say about midfield? No, no, no. Just, well, look what Giggs did. You, you look what Giggs did. He, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like I mean, Giggs. Ro- Rooney too, a current it got example. It's easier yeah. than that. Is no, that what you're saying? Well, no, but it, if you... Because especially like someone like Giggs, who was a winger, who went <laughs> yeah, and scored. Yeah, those lazy midfielders. <laughs> yeah, right. Giggs and Rooney, they were known for scoring. Now they're playmakers. It's kind of like what Gerrard did. He was attacking... Well, not attacking midfield, but he was going and banging and then, in goals, yeah, setting then, up right. goals. Then he, then he sat the back, six, yeah, and then yeah. became... What in my opinion, same with Gerard, same with Giggs, that was how I liked yeah. them the most. You know? it, it is important that you do that in the right team, though. Exactly. If you're in a team fighting relegation, which which I was yeah, quite a yeah, lot of the time, enough, it's, a, it's yeah. a little bit harder, mate. You know. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and I mean, the thing for me is just go and win it this year. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah. Go and win it this year. Yeah. Like I said, this. I I genuinely want City. Like, yeah, even if Chelsea versus City in a Final, if it comes down to that, like I, I generally want City yeah. winning the Champions League. Mate, I was, I was actually when they first qualified. I was back at one of the games, and and Gary Owen, who's a fantastic ex-player, was hosting one of the lounges, and there was about two hundred people in there, and I was sitting on the stage, and he's gone, "Do you think we'll win the Champions League?" And I went, "No, you can, it takes years, mate. You, we, we're just not ready." Yeah. And he got everyone to boo me. <laughs> Everybody in there, City fans, booed me. It was embarrassing. That's funny. Maybe that's what we'll start so, doing. So listen, switch with. it. <laughs> so, so switch it round. Let Liverpool take the title, which they already have, and hats off to them because not only this season they've been fantastic for two seasons, haven't they? It's yeah. not, let's not. Let's not. Uh, no, I mean, last cry season, spilled milk. You know, la- they, yeah, last season to finish with <clears throat> what was it, ninety eight? And what they did, yeah, is yeah, amazing. And, and we'll take the the Champions League this year. And I, I actually, you know, to talk, would you rather? Would you rather have got someone like Real Madrid in the last 16 or would you rather see them in the final? My my point is I'd rather have them now. Yeah, because then you're warmed up to it, aren't you? You're, you're facing yeah. one of the best teams uh, in Take Europe. Them out. Take yeah. them out early. And I, I think, think, I mean, the last time we played Real Madrid uh, a few years ago, it was 0-0 in the first leg and then it was 1-0 in the second leg. And I think it was Mangala scored an own goal. Mangala, yeah, or oh, company. Yeah. No, Mang- Mangala scored an own goal, didn't he, in 20... I know you're talking about company where he hit it. Yeah, over yeah, and it went over the keeper. Yeah, yeah no company. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Good memory. Company. Yeah, <laughs> I just remember that was the weirdest. Oh, you had the research, ever. man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, you know, I know it's not the same team on either side, but Real Madrid are. 
I mean, great. They look great in Spain, and yeah, they've won three in a row Champions Leagues. But City's team now are. I mean, it's insane. You know, yeah, like I, as, I, I, yeah. I know second place is is whatever. You know, the, the points aren't really showing it, but. I just think, I mean, the way Pep plays, he's a genius. It's ridiculous. It, I, I arguably say the best manager ever. Yeah. 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 No, no doubt. Well, look, it pains me, Alex Ferguson, mate. All right. But, uh, you yeah, know but, what I mean? For, yeah, to do what he did for so long. Exactly. Like, you know, win that, consistently, win that travel. Yeah. But you know, with the European I'm saying, Cup. like, if you put Alex Ferguson's prime year compared to Pep's prime year, if well, you want to judge and, and it by that... In a coaching standpoint, you, Pep, coaching, is, Pep co- is the yeah, man. Coaching, you know? Yeah, coaching, obviously, you want to go for yeah. the, the longevity of it. But, yeah, I've, uh, I've, yeah, I mean, I've said it all along. He's not in it for him and trophies. Exactly, he wants yeah. to better the game he want, Yeah, exactly. Which, right. in my opinion, is yeah. why is, he's... Like, he not goes to these challenges. Yeah. He goes to these other challenges, the next challenge. He could yeah. sit where he was, could have sat in Barca, could have sat in Bayern, won trophies every year, and never under threat of his job. But he wants the next challenge. And, so and I was, say, say I was glad that, it was City. Anyway. Saying that, I think City fans should be fairly safe right now because there's a big challenge coming up. And obviously, a big challenge in the Champions League ban and a big challenge in winning the Champions League this season. Th- but, but also, this looks... You, you see how far it's all come from not that long ago, you know, the early 2000s when it was still wasn't right, to now FA Cup. It could be FA Cup, Carabao Cup, second in the league, still in the Champions League. And it's looked upon as a little bit of a, a failure. failure yeah. Yeah. You know? And Pep saying, I could be fired. Like, <laughs> yeah. he, he won't, yeah. <clears throat> no, yeah. I'm not saying he, but he it, would be or right. he should it's be. It's just about the fact that he's saying it. It's the fact that like they brought him in to win Champions League. Well, because he knows um, where City are at right now isn't up to his standards his part, as far yeah. as points-wise. And obviously, yeah. there's a big hole. There was a big hole left in defence with Laporta being out. Um, and he's, he's oh, been we, 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 well, we lost we lost two players. You know? We yeah. lost two. We we lost we lost because Fernandinho. Of Fernandinho yeah. We lost Fernandinho yeah. from the centre, and it was like losing the player. Right, because then you. I mean, I like <clears throat> Rodri a lot. I think he's a great player, but Fernandinho does a job in the in that number six role that nobody yeah. else will. You replace. still need to get the next two three years out of him. Exactly, um, and him playing yeah. a centre back means he's not playing in the midfield, and it's. Uh, it's a little bit easier back See, what, what we said, yeah. what was further back you go, the easier Just keep going. What about goalkeepers? <laughs> Let's go down the pitch. See, I want, I, I know this is like kind of comical, but I want uh, Edison to pull like a little David James. And um, um, honestly, play up front? No, not up front, but I want him to play in defensive mid. Honestly, could, well, yeah. No, could, just for a game. I can you know, see he's against, good on the ball. Pep's talking about him taking penalties. Well, somebody's well, got to. Remember Joe Hart it. taking a penalty? Sorry? Joe Hart, when they played in, they came yeah, to yeah. America, he saved the penalty, penalty yeah, grabbed the yeah. ball, put it on the spot, and yeah, roofed yeah. it. The, yeah. thing, the thing about Edison taking penalties, though, is there's no one in goal <laughs> if the keeper saves it and the ball's still in play. Like Yeah, but like I said to you, if you it's s- like them coming up for the corner, though, mate, at the end. If it? you save yeah, that penalty... Yeah, then, yeah but if you, it's a, there's a difference between you're nil-nil and you've yeah. got a penalty and you, and you let Edison take it, or you're one nil down and you're risking a goal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, but like I said, we were talking about this earlier. If, if that hits the bar... It's hitting the halfway line, you know how, how hard powerful he hits, he hits it. Yeah, Probably if you save goal. that, you're getting, you know, like it's, yeah. it's yeah. not like it keeps going to yeah. hold on to it and distribute yeah. it. And I mean, break, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, we could talk, we could talk about Man City all day, but I think we've got a, a, quite a lot of West Ham listeners as well. Yeah, um, it's, it's it's sad, you know. I mean, I, I do have my Twitter account and I do speak to them quite a lot, and you know, it's it. The, the pain that they're going through right now, and I mean, I know because I've been down there, I, I had two relegations with the club. I don't believe it's going to happen, and I mean that sincerely. It's, I, I, I think Villa may be the third team to slip in with Watford and Norwich. Yeah. Um, I don't care who it is, as long as it isn't West Ham. I agree. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. You know, the, the the best thing for me was when Bournemouth came into the, the Premier League, and I had four of my five clubs in the Premier League, right. and it's it's really. It, you know, I don't want that to be to be any different. Way. You know, yeah. you know, next season Bournemouth sitting on the edge. You know, Eddie Howe's done brilliant. Uh, I thought when David Moyes come back that it was the right appointment. I still think it is. I still I, think it is. I, I yeah. hope so, but, yeah. but you know, everybody needs time. I just the, the the performance at Man City the last the last game, and I know they go to Liverpool tomorrow, which is. Look, you, you can't look at it and say... Yeah, it'll be today when the podcast comes out. Yeah, they go... Oh, yeah. thanks. Thanks for that. We're that's, just... <laughs> that's what you're here for. Yeah. So. Liverpool on 
The, I, I don't think they're scary to look at, though. No, no, uh, no I think they squeak. I, they squeak I, by in I a football yeah, game. I thought Norwich would, would do it. I th- thought yeah. they'd upset the apple cart. And I do believe it'll be one of the lower teams that stops them being the Invincibles. Yeah. I do believe. Hopefully, it'll be West Ham. Look, I'd settle for a draw any day of the week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it, they're fearsome. You look at their, their, their lineup, they are fearsome. Yeah, no, no one wants to go play West Ham away. No, but but for me, I, I mean, the difference. Yeah. What I hope, what I hope David Moyes does, is not go out. It, maybe he's looking at it in a way that it, it, will it come down to goal difference? So let's go there and pack it in, and, and not Hard concede to too many. You know, like what Atletico did. Yeah, or, or do you go and have a right go and say, look, it's Liverpool, it's Man City. We're probably not going to get a result. Let's just go at them. Yeah, you know, I, I'm a believer that go at them for. Go at them for 5, 10, 15 minutes and try and get that goal. And if you don't, so be it. If you concede one, then you can come back. If you score one, then you can come back. Yeah. You know, e- either way, have a go. And, and I'm sure the West Ham fans would prefer that. You yeah, know, yeah, 100%. To get out there yeah. and, and actually have a go. It, you see what happens, and, and to be fair, it's happened to me in my life, that when you are fighting a little bit, the playmakers tend to be taken out of the team. Yeah, and the grafters and the tackles yeah. get brought in. And I think because he's a little bit old school, I think he's gone that way to not concede too many. In his mind, is he thinking goal difference? Right. You know, but for me, I would say these two games don't care because at the end of the day, you, you've got to beat the Southamptons of next week. Yeah, yeah. Which you know, be, this this coming yeah. Saturday, yeah. these are the massive games. You know, the teams yeah. down in the Raja, right, yeah. and you you've got to go and say. I don't, I don't want to stay up by goal difference. I don't want to stay up by the skin of my teeth. Let's at least go and have a go for 20 minutes. Whereas I think they look at it the other way. Let's keep it compact for 20 minutes and, and stay when, in the game. And that's when Liverpool score. Yeah, uh, and I hear yeah, commentators. Yeah, but yeah. then you can't change in you know, that. Right, yeah. It's hard to then go, okay, the let's go game. forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like an oil tanker trying sitting. to turn. Because yeah. he's probably worked on it all week. Yeah, yeah. He's probably worked what, on the defensive what side a great, all What a great uh, a team to play an example, <laughs> to be an example with Southampton, though. I mean, I at the beginning of the season, they looked like they were done going well, down. Well, you yeah, lose 9 nil at home to Leicester. I know, yeah. And then beat them. And you look at now, yeah. I thought they should have beat Liverpool at Anfield until yeah. certain things. You know, I think Danny Ings maybe should have got a penalty before Liverpool broke the other end yeah. and went 1-0 up. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that they would have kept the lead, but, but they look like a, like a team that want to play now. Right. And a team that want to win and they've got some sort of structure. I, I don't see, and I hate to say it, I don't see what West Ham are meaning to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't see a proper structure. I don't know whether it's... Four three three four four two four five one. I, I don't see what we're trying to get at at this this point in time, and you know it'll be interesting because I am going back home for the for the Wolves game. Yeah, and I, I just like a couple more points on the board before I get there. To be honest with you, because they're a team to fear as well. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, definitely. I mean, they you know they're sitting on. I mean, they they you know. I, I, Villa are just one point ahead. I mean, Bournemouth are in sixteenth, just two points ahead. I mean, it's it's tight down there, you know. I mean, it's not it's yeah. not impossible. <clears throat> I mean, they played they've got a uh, they played twenty six games. They're obviously playing Liverpool to make that the twenty seventh. Not as good as last year. Yeah, but then you look at Watford as well, and they're on the same amount of points. I mean, they played one more game. You look but, at you look at a team like Sheffield United though, who are just as good as any of the so, only only just as good as anyone in the bottom ten. But it seems like they just have heart here's, and they want to go yeah, for games, you know. And that's why Sheffield they're... United are unique because um, they'll play the way they were playing in the Championship, the way they got the mark. Exactly. Like Fulham like tried they were to do this. In the rest yeah, of the Fulham yeah. tried to do this last season. It didn't work in the Premier League. What worked in the Championship? Sheffield United. One thing, like they impress me so much, Sheffield United, because of their overlapping centre back. So they'll play three centre backs. And the wide centre backs will cut inside of the full backs or go around the full backs. <clears throat> it's just so innovative. I mean, it's almost Pep Guardiola like yeah, in a yeah, sense yeah. where it's just like, what yeah. are you doing? Like I'm, that's not how football is yeah. Well I'm happy to see a team like of that. Of course. Doing well, and they're know. in six or you And know. it's it's not because they're mainly British based players because right. because I like Which they Wolves. are, that's another thing. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah, Wolves. But Portuguese, I like Wolves yeah. Yeah, with a Portuguese based side. But but I think what you find as well I love Wolves. Yeah. The f- your first season up. Nobody knows you. Right. And then afterwards, the second season is where you're tested for Yeah, me. yeah. You know what I mean? So it'll be interesting because obviously, look, they might even qualify for the for the Champions League. Yeah. It, ho- hopefully, yeah. I mean, it, Chelsea and Tottenham aren't to be trusted. Well, well, you look. 
That's been strange for me as well, the, the demise of Tottenham, Chelsea, Man United, United you know. Yeah. I had a, I'm not Everton. gonna I'm not gonna yeah, I'm not gonna give the guy notoriety by saying his name or his, his Twitter name, but I, I predicted six months uh ten months ago that Soul Show would be gone by Christmas. And I said, put your house on it, right? Yeah. And this guy came back, obviously a Man United fan, went, oh, have you put your house on it? And I said, yeah, I have. And then comes Christmas, comes Christmas, he goes, oh, and he retweeted what yeah, a tweet yeah, went, gone by Christmas. Now, what this idiot doesn't realise is, are you settling for mediocrity then? Right. Yeah, you it's know? like with uh, yeah. our, um, Jesus, I've lost his name, the Arsenal manager. Oh, Tete. Uh, oh, Tete, yeah. No, uh, Emery. Oh, oh even I am, yeah. Yeah, he yeah. was gone for months, but it's just like he kept yeah, on yeah, clinging just, in, clinging on, yeah, clinging yeah, on, yeah. and that's what it's doing. But I mean, to be fair, they picked up, they picked up, and it's not personal with Solskjaer. I just, I just think there was an issue in that dressing room. Emory, no. There was a big issue in that dressing room, wasn't it, Man United? I think there still poison. is. I think there still is a big issue well, in yeah, Man but, United's dressing room. Yeah. I mean, I think Paul Park. Uh, you know, if you're, I mean, either he needs to get rid of his agent or United need to get rid of him. He can't. He, he can't. He can't. Keep, he's put. He's lit. <clears throat> like people think that it. All that matters is what's on the pitch. Hmm. It's what happens in the dressing room as well. The way people feel. I mean, it's like a business. If one person is rocked, they're gonna poison the rest of the I mean, the people you, in that organization. Yeah, you look at Lacazette and Aubameyang. They look like the best friends, and hmm. they're two of the best duo strikers that you've right, seen. Right. In the last two decades. There's chemistry know? there. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just unfortunately, Lacazette can't score a goal at home. That's the that's a big issue, mate. You know, I mean I I know that more than anyone with being an Arsenal fan. And I doubt I doubted Emery because I mean I have a I, I, I do I do like Emery. I don't think he's suited for the Premier League. Well I just yeah, I just thought, you know what, if you put if you put Granite Jacket in as your captain, who goes sideways and backwards and points forwards more than Sky anybody I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. He's got this more knack. Than Joe, more than Joe Allen? He's got this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. even more, yeah. He's, he's got this knack of getting himself... It's hard enough to get yourself in a position to receive it all the time because it takes hard work. He's got this knack of getting himself in a position not, not to, to receive, receive it. it yeah. You know, and when he does, it like, goes backwards. Yeah, it's like he's being... He's, he's, he, he, you know, it's funny. It's like he's he doesn't have creativity, but he's so creative in finding the non-space. Yeah, yeah, that's a, it's, yeah. it's a it's an art. It is. Yeah. It's an art. The, game, the game's about stats and what you look like online. So well, well, it, that's, it's that's the same the thing with diving. If you dive and lose the ball, then technically you didn't lose the ball. You get a free kick. So now your stat is well, your, that's it. your your stats gone up. In you possession. didn't get the ball exactly. Yeah. But, so well, again, for me, the game don't become, get the ball. Yeah. The games become easier for average players to exactly, play. Exactly. Yeah. 100%. Because now you get yourself in a bind because they do play out from the back. You get yourself in a bind and can't get out. All you need to do is stand in front of someone and fall forwards. And now you haven't lost the ball. Yeah. You haven't given the ball I, away. I do, and you and you start again. I do I do appreciate um, nothing against Arsenal. I, I do really like Arsenal, it's fair, even as a Chelsea fan. But um, I do like that he just, he like flipped off like the Arsenal fans. You do yeah. like that? I, I, I do, thought that was the perfect I, time just to get rid. I do. Yeah. Oh yeah, no one. I one hundred percent agree with that. I I'm not saying I like that Shaka did it. I like that someone just did it. Especially when you got thousands of cameras on you. You know you're gonna get in trouble. You know the fans are gonna hate you. But it's one of those. I'm surprised uh, it took us. I, I think, yeah, I know. Not that long to figure them exactly, out. Exactly, yeah. I'm I also think surprised he didn't find a way to just avoid the whole situation altogether as well. Like, he I think he's that. I think he's that stupid, and I think he he thinks he's so good that he should be starting. I think he thinks that he should be captain. I think he should be taking thirty yard shots that sky yeah. over the bar, and he's like, oh, don't worry, I'll get yeah. it next time. But I like that he had it in himself to go. Yeah, but in, on a similar vein, like, you look. Yourself. You look at Dallas. Yeah. You look at so Deli Ali when he got brought off the other day. Yeah. He threw his boot down, his face on him like, why did you take me off? You, you've got to be playing well. Right. You, you don't have a divine right to stay out there. I don't care who you are, you know? Yeah, just because you feel good doesn't mean you're playing You look well. at Sergio Aguero. I think if he, if he stayed on 19 minutes every game, he'd win the golden boot every year. And Pep drags him out, and you know? Yeah. And thirty minutes to go, a lot, a lot of times, and and you know, I, I see, look, yeah, I see him. He, he got fed up a little bit, winner, but, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you know, he's he's got a more professional outlook about. I like that's just because he wants to win. He just that's wants what to I, be he wants to win. Yeah, he wants to be part of that winning winning group. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were talking. We were like yesterday. I think it was or two days ago. Whenever this comes out, we were talking about Jesus scoring the winning goal because uh, Aguero came off, and I genuinely think 
Aguero would rather be happy that they got the three points yeah, definitely, yeah. down. Oh, after the fact, not yeah. Score, even though off, he missed a penalty, but, yeah. You know? But coming like, off at nil nil, I'm sure. And missing surely, a penalty, yeah. And wanting to redeem exactly, himself, like, yeah. he almost redeemed himself three minutes later. But I think Pep, I think Pep's transformed Aguero into a little more of a team player than he ever was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like, and, yeah, and yeah. at first there was a rocky relationship. There's people talking about Aguero leaving. Yeah. But you know, that's that's respect. That's your exactly. Lead. That's, that's yeah. respect for his coach, for his manager, yeah. knowing that he knows what he what he does. Yeah. And and you've got to do that. Yeah. You know, especially with someone like Pep. I think if you're disagreeing with Pep, you got something wrong. With well, you. this is why this is why I think if if there's any unrest and players say they want to leave, he will let anybody go. Exactly. Yeah, he, because he doesn't care. want them in there. Well, no, as soon like as the you... whole thing with Sane. Yeah. Sane, I think like well, I, I said, don't think to we you, know when... I don't think we know exactly what's going on. Oh yeah, with no, Sane. we're speculating. Just, yeah. We're spe- but I said as soon as Sane got injured, I was like, I don't know how any team in the world doesn't want to buy him injured. One of the best but, wingers in the in the world. And he's what twenty years old? <clears throat> no, he's a little older than that. Mate, you, can, you can't. I think twenty. You All can't. Right, you can't. His potential. I I don't care about this whole like you don't buy an injured player mate, because you're talking about hundreds of millions of pounds for an injured. Well, player. what he's yeah. What well, he's I'm, saying, t- I'm talking about football, man. Like we all know yeah, he's going to come back on the, and kill on the, it on the doubt. Like get him on the cheap. Exactly. Bit, you know, especially yeah. when he was because there was that whole. I know there's like I know it's stupid to talk about, but there's that whole meme. Of him when he was injured, and it was like uh, this, like little faded Bayern Munich, and he was like trying to grasp at it. This like right. a badge, like he was gonna do well and then get that big money move to Bayern Munich, and he was gonna be a superstar. But who cares? He's one of the best young footballers in the world. Like he well, already looks like he has experience. You the know, clubs, yeah. the club's not gonna let him go on a cheap injured. No. They're gonna say when we get him fit, he's gonna win. No, yeah, I'm but, not losing nothing. No, but, but when we get him fit, he's gonna be worth this much. But he was already wanting to leave anyway, so. But maybe cheaper. I, I'm just, mo- <clears> I'm that, just surprised exactly, more clubs yeah. didn't try and swoop in. Yeah, maybe they did. But I, yeah, but then true. again, but maybe then we're just, but then yeah, again, just like, no. like we see with everything, like you talk about, like Zidane, who's one of the best footballers ever. Um, it doesn't seem it, like, and same thing. I remember it happening with Brendan Rodgers, like. Um, in my opinion, what happened with Brendan Rodgers and Sterling, um, I don't think, I, I I don't think the manager the manager should have the say on whether who they want to buy, not because of like media and what happens in the press and stuff like that. Because it's like a team wants to bring someone in and then says to the manager, "Oh, you got to work them into your team." Like I think what they did with Mares, so you have mm. to work them into your team because we just spent this much money on. Them. I yeah. think it, I think it has to come down to the manager who they buy. Because why buy someone that doesn't work in your system? It well, uh, I think what they do. I spoke to someone the other day. Is is I, I obviously don't know what because they do, well yeah. well I was told because it was we were, we were talking about the recruiting system at West Ham and mm-hmm. and, and how the players are found and, one of the and best one, in the world. And one well, of well no yeah. academy wise they used to yeah, be, yeah. you know but um, somebody said that it's a fit. It's now done on on computer uh, and the stats of different players and and where they are stats to, to what you need this player fits you now I don't know how true that is I mean it sounds a little bit strange to me but um, it, it explains why some players come in that, that I've never even heard of before but that do well but you know it's it's this is a stat this is this is what he does this is what you're lacking this is what you're missing he slots into you and the manager get on with it. I think, I, I think, you know, I mean, stats are a weird thing because I think they're extremely important to evaluate things. Of but course, yeah. not if the you you as the subject of that shouldn't stat be the shouldn't be conscious yeah, of the stat. Like, you know what I mean? Like you shouldn't be like, I want to be the the most accurate passer in the Premier League, so I'm going to pass backwards. <clears throat> you know, like, you shouldn't be thinking about stats as a player, but stats that aren't, you know, you know, you're almost like lying at that point you're almost you're almost like twisting the stats if you're if you're playing for the stats it's the same with, it's the same with when I look on Sky and the the, the snippet comes up at the side you know, most foul player uh, most passes right and and the most passes which oh, is what got me yeah. what, what got me five the top five it shows four of them are centre backs so so most passes yeah because, safe passes. because we play at the back and yeah. we go square and we keep switching it well, from I mean, side to side. Yeah. You, look, you look at Busquets when he was going up through Barca when he was a kid. He had a better pass mm. possession than Iniesta and Xavi when he was playing in that triangle. Yeah, because they take chances, mate. Of course they take chances. Teams, and plus he dove whenever he lost the ball. Who'd you uh, say? Uh, Busquets. Who, Busquets versus who? who Xavi and Iniesta, two uh, of the right. arguably but best. But the two players who played in... Who, 
It, yeah, he was the back of the, th- yeah, of the, the three. three but, yeah. I mean, your Barcelona, where they defended right. at the cent- right. well, center circle. That's yeah. where the defenders were. Yeah, so I mean, the, again, the, yeah, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to. No, 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 no I'm done. Yeah, 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 it just, yeah, it just, it pisses me off. It's like, you're going to play for the stats. The goal. But that's of, how he's made his career. Right. He's made his the career aim of your objective yeah. is to score a goal. Like, you're not, like, the passes, who gives a shit? You know, it's like. Stats are important, but it needs to be it's, it needs to be an outside view of the stat. Like yeah. it needs to almost be like you're being evaluated from the outside. Like I, I would love to see this striker scores, you know, six out of every nine shots he takes, mm. and the striker won't change that just to make. I mean, he's what he wants it, to score is pure, you know. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I remember yeah. a few years ago, Con. I don't know if you remember when you went I took you to Blackburn with uh, Tony Grant. Yeah. You were training. You were training with the U 18s was it? I have no idea. Yeah, and um, the kids, age. the kids had their vests on, you know, the um, heart monitor, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and during one of the water breaks, one of the kids, there was a little table in the middle of the of the pitch. Pure scientist. And yeah, there was a um, there was a laptop on there, and the kid comes sprinting over, and I'm standing by it, and I went, "What exactly are you looking for?" He said, "I want to know if I'm working hard enough." <laughs> I went, "Well, you're not breathing very heavy, so don't you think you're not working hard enough?" Yeah, you know, it, it was it was funny to me, but that's how the game's gone, and we've got to accept it. Yeah, you know, it's it almost is. like you know, if you wear one of those vests, the like what is it, Opta or I, don't, I can't remember what it's called, yeah, but yeah. The, those vests that look like bras, right? Yeah, if you wear one of those, it's like you sack the research, man. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a thing because the the sports scientists are looked as these genius who are going to improve the game yeah. that happened they what, over a decade numbers. ago and yeah. what's happened I just know? imagine if, if somebody had told my manager that I shouldn't play this weekend because, because I've already worked too hard or done well, too much yeah. yeah that's what is argument the whole thing coming full circle to Aguero <clears throat> is remember how many like you talk you talk about people trying to break records I, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong but did Aguero just break the record for uh, most goals in the Premier League from a foreign player. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, he over did. Thierry Henry. Yeah. <clears throat> and you look at it, and Thierry Henry never got dragged off. You know, no. not like Aguero. Yeah. Not like remember how like you can argue could uh, Coutinho. He yeah. got taken off every in every sixty fifth minute. He got taken off, yeah. and it was like. What are well, you doing? But for the, la- for yeah. the last ten years, you've been the two best players. And they the tried to say that's yeah. why exactly. Ronaldo and Messi, exactly, and yeah. they play ninety minutes of it exactly. every single game, and that's in, why in less lesser competitive leagues, uh, I'll well, say, but yeah, still, but, but still yeah. doing more than everybody else. Yeah, exactly, forget. and that's why yeah. like Messi runs Barcelona, right? And Ronaldo yeah. runs whatever club he wants to go to, because yeah. the, it's like I mean I forgot. There's a funny clip online somewhere of. I don't think it's Lewis and See, he is a research guy. He's looking online at clips, you know. Oh uh, yeah, because <laughs> I'm not. I'm the only one that doesn't go on the internet. Sorry. Yeah. No, no, I mean, it's uh, Messi. I remember, what what was it? He was, um, I think it was 1-0 down with 30 minutes to go. Against, it was in La Liga, and the manager keeps looking at Messi. Messi's coming back from an injury, and Messi's warming up. He's like, no, I'm not going on yet, not going on yet. And the guy keeps looking at him, and then Messi find, goes, like, I don't, I don't even think he looks at the manager. He just takes, starts getting undressed, and he's like, I'm coming on. I like, do right. something, you know. And he goes on, and he scores... Two goals and hits the post and wins yeah. the game for them yeah. with 15 minutes to go. And, I mean, like I said, Messi's... I, I don't think anyone can ever compare to him, but this whole, like, players ruling out um, yeah, yeah. managers. I, I mean, I said the other day, I said to you, um, Kevin De Bruyne is the best in the world. And No. Not I knew that's exactly how you answered. Yeah, no, um, no way. I think Hazard's okay. better than him. Not at all. Not even close. Right, no, sorry, sorry. I think Hazard. No, I think I think Hazard has more talent. I think De Bruyne has a wider variety. Here's the thing. Okay, yeah. I, I, if I, if I, I were to even, rank them, I would say De Bruyne is better. Of course I think he is. That's Hazard that's, has more yeah. talent, and I'm not trying to be biased. Like, yeah, he went to Madrid. Whatever it is, like, I'm happy for him because Chelsea were holding him back. But, yeah, my talking uh, of Hazard. Uh, well, he fractured the shin bone. Yeah, yeah. And he's not going to be playing against Man City, which, is, which I, I don't, I don't want to see anybody I, hurt. I, yeah. but, but, yeah, but whatever it takes. For, I hate know. because I wanted to, yeah, yeah. like, yeah, because I wanted to see him. I, I mean, I hate that they're top of the league. I want him to hate Madrid 
I wanted to. It, it sounds selfish. I wanted to hate football for a year and be like, you know what? I think I need to go back he's to the Premier gonna, League and go back to Chelsea. He's not. He won't know? be going back to the same team, mate. Will he? No, he will. I see. I was saying with him, he's. A, they don't need any more wingers. He's mate. a. Fo- got about seven off the moment. Yeah, but they're yeah, all no, like he, sixteen years old. They all bow down to him. Like William yeah, will yeah. go back to. I was saying to. No, I was. I was saying to one of you. He comes from a football family. He doesn't care about the paycheck. He doesn't care about. Um, sure it helps I don't think he cares as much about champ. of course it helps a little <clears> bit but I think he's more about passion I don't know if you uh, there was an interview with him when I think he was coming from Lille uh, he said no I hate Man United I hate Man City I don't care how much they offer me I hate Tottenham I hate Arsenal I don't care how much they offer me and then Chelsea came in he's like yeah I've, I've always been somewhat of a fan how do you know it wasn't though the money just wasn't good enough I hate them because this you know, you know <laughs> fair play yeah there's always I don't a, know, there's, there's, always a, yeah, there's always a yeah there's always a conspiracy I just uh, anyway Kevin De, when I say Kevin De Bruyne is the best in the world like I'm I'm saying it's obvious Messi's the best in the world okay so like so it's say like that. obviously Messi's better right, this, in the world yeah that's what I said so earlier. there's no conversation you don't about need to that say Messi. exactly yeah, yeah yeah but Kevin De Bruyne Kevin De Bruyne is the best player in the world who's a normal person like yeah Messi's he's not from Mars yeah. nature, but yeah. some of the passes Kevin De Bruyne makes are absolutely insane. You know, like the passes forward, the space he sees, and then the execution as well. It's not just the um, it's not just it's not just the 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 fact that he's seen the pass, which is incredible. He's made the play, but it's the run. fact that he's made the pass. Like yeah, yeah. like like, you know, an idea is one thing, an execution is a completely different thing. And the yeah. fact that he separates he plays players, that yeah. ball. Well, people, most players don't even see it. Yeah. Right. Never I mean, mind look at, execute. Like, like, yeah. like you say, like it's so much more different when you're eye level with the pitch. Yeah. Never mind yeah. watching it from the stands or watching it on television. Yeah. You go, oh, that idiot didn't play that ball. He was clearly open. It's right. Like, but you've got a bird's eye level, view. Yeah. Once you're eye level. I said, yeah. I said years ago that there should be a, a, a film made about about football. With a GoPro of a player uh, and, on them. And, yeah. and keep it the whole time on the field at eye level and, and watch. The adjustments that certain players look. I mean, they're, they're fantastic athletes today. You can't get away from that. I, I do believe the difference when people say, what's the difference between when you played and now? There's there's more touch players, whereas there was only a few touch players in a team and he was probably... But it was more physicality. Centre mid yeah. or, or what they call a number 10 now. Or, or you know, if no one had better touches, you got two big lumps at the back. Now everybody can play, even the goalkeeper. But they're, they're not doing that if you didn't do that before them. Well, well, of course, because everything involves, mate. It's got to come yeah, from something. Exactly, but, yeah. and, and the idea that made me laugh when, um, you know, uh, oh, these new attacking fullbacks. And Julian Dix and Timmy Breaker used yeah, that, to bomb on That's something fun. that's always... Dix, he got yeah. 13 goals one season. And, and Timmy, I mean, we called him the robot. He was he was just mechanical. He was up and down, up and down, down. His physique, it was like Dolph Lundgren in the Rocky films. <laughs> except, he, except, yeah. except he couldn't fight. <laughs> Silent Assassin, though, was out at every party. Every time there was a beer go, he'd stand there in the corner just smiling. You know, never I mean, in trouble. Never in trouble, but always there. You don't see that now, do you? I mean, it's <clears> a completely <throat> different game. Yeah. You know, I mean, you I think mean, for look, better I mean, or worse? The, it's. Look, people are under the assumption that we didn't take care of our bodies, but but when you're traipsing through the mud for 90 minutes and playing every game, you must have had a certain fitness level, you know. I yeah. remember Harry Redknapp saying I was 32 pounds overweight once. <laughs> he said he'd found a book in the boot of his car that had my weight, so when he came to West Ham, he looked at me, and he had me wearing fat pants, like these, <laughs> like these plastic bags <laughs> after trading. When I opened the leg, opened the lace, all the sweat poured out. <laughs> He had me doing extra laps afterwards with Billy Bonds. And Billy Bonds was probably the fittest person there still at the time when he was manager. And I was trying to keep up with Bill. I just couldn't do it. I was puking. Yeah, but that's, that's hard to... Like, how does he not know watching you in training? Like you just said, Billy Bonds, like, he's going to outrun anyone. So it's not like you'd be like, all right, you're fat. Go try keep up with Billy Bonds. No one's going to do it. No, even no, even a, the thin ones, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That was my argument. Anyway, uh, predictions, predictions for relegation. Uh, I mean, obviously, I think the bottom two. I think Norwich, Norwich and Watford. Watford. Yeah, I think Pearson might might fight Watford out of there. Yeah, but okay. So, but you're you also said earlier that West Ham are going to fight out of there. So now you're pulling two teams out. Yeah, yeah, yeah and exactly, I don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind Villa slipping in. Yeah, that's I who, that's I don't mind, who I want. Yeah. I don't mind maybe Brighton slipping in. 
Yeah. You know, who else? Who else is around there? What's the other team around there? Mate? Uh, it's so Bournemouth. So no, the, not Bournemouth. No, yeah, the even, last, the last, go there. the last. Uh, I mean, the points aren't that far. So <clears throat> Norwich, I think, are gone. They're on eighteen points, right? I I thought Palace could have slipped in, but they won at the weekend. Right. I mean, Mainly Palace have thirty three points. Do, I mean, was it? Isn't there something? Uh, again, going back to stats, isn't it like thirty two or thirty four points is usually safe or something like that? <clears throat> No, no, no. It was always 38. Right? 38, 38 points, 40, all right. 40, yeah. All right, so with, with 11 games to go, I mean, you know, only... I mean, Arsenal don't even have 38 points yet, you know? They're no. ninth. So, I mean, I think it's... So, the last five are Brighton, Bournemouth, Villa, West Ham, Watford, Norwich. I think Norwich and Watford go down um, unless Troy Deeney somehow pulls out a, a, uh, a They didn't look too close today at, no. at Old Trafford, did they? No, not at all. Um, I think Villa go down... I don't obviously don't want West Ham to go down. I don't think they will. Don't want you know. Is I mean, want and predict is two different things. Obviously, I mean, what do you think? Like this is so. So we're looking at the last half of the table here. Um, I mean, what, you think Watford will pull it out? I don't. I'm. I, I'm not saying they will. I mean, in all honesty, I'd like them not to. Right. That only leaves one spot. Exactly. So, but I just think Nigel Pearson has got that fighting quality. He was like that as a player. Yeah. I think he's he's. Put a little bit of a foundation there, yeah. Because they were they were dead and buried, really, weren't they? A little while back, you know. If if Norwich and Watford stay there, and Villa and West Ham switch places, yeah, out, I'll be a happy man. But do you think? Okay, if you had to bet your life on it, Watford staying up and Brighton going down. No, no, no. Mm. Bournemouth, Brighton. What no, you no. I, I, to be fair, the way Bournemouth started against Burnley, mate, I was really impressed with with yeah. their character and. Uh, and, and it wasn't a fighting right. spirit. It was football. Right. I mean, Eddie's, it wasn't desperation. Eddie's been brilliant. Yeah. Now he's, uh, you know, to, to stay in, in that league, and now they're a fixture. It's right. not just a flash in the pan anymore. Absolutely, they're a yeah. fixture there now. And he's been touted around for the job he's done. He's been, there's been whispers about him getting a bigger club. I think he's he's happy there. I think this, yeah, I don't... this may be the thing, the season that keeps him there. I mean, he brought, he brought, he brought them from what? Third... Yeah, from nowhere. Third division. From nowhere, mate. And now they're established. Yeah. You know, they, if you, if the more you're in there, you're all going to have times when things don't work for you. Right. You are. Yeah. You are fighting down there and you are yeah, in a battle. Yeah. And sometimes it's, it's a wake-up call for you as well. You know, everybody has to adapt and adjust. Yeah. You have to switch things, change things about as the game grows. And I think he's he's one of these young managers very capable of doing that, you yeah. know. Um, and I love watching the, their style of play. You know, they probably have thrown too many points away in certain games but yeah. you know Newcastle aren't out of it 31 points yeah um, I, I'm going to stick my neck out and say Norwich, Watford and Villa Norwich, Watford, Villa what do you think Connor? Um, yeah no yeah yeah I know give, us, give us one out of the ordinary no no I won I won go, <laughs> I mean if this if, if this <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not saying this seriously, but City could could be relegated yeah, based right. on legal actions. Would they? How do you feel about that with the rugby that just happened oh. recently? I forgot the. Oh, Stan was just talking about. I forgot the team, but they're one of the they're one of the best teams. And some of the Saracens, I think. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They just got relegated. How do you feel about that? And then did, that whole thing that did you hear about with Buffalo Wild Wings? There was a team that. Um, Texas, I, I yeah, know, yeah, the Houston Astros, really know the Astros, yeah, yeah, they got Houston. caught, they got caught cheating in the uh, yeah, World Series or something. Everyone's and, boycotting Wild Wings. Yeah, and Buffalo <laughs> Wild Wings came out and said, "This is how you ban a cheating team," and they posted without the Man City even, article, and they have no idea. Yeah, what's going I mean, on fucking about Buffalo City, Wild yeah. Wings, like, you know, get out of here. You know, stick to your fucking NFL or whatever it is. Um, but no, yeah. Everyone's I, boycotting Buffalo. Everyone yeah. in Houston is it? It's Houston, isn't it? The Astros. Astro. Uh, yes, yeah, it's Houston. Astros. 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 Okay, yeah, everyone yeah. in Houston started boycotting. And For then, those of you in England, yeah. yeah. And then Buffalo Wild Wings uh, tweeted back saying, "I'm sorry" or something. Which I don't get. I swear. <laughs> yeah. Every company has a Twitter. All right. So what's your three then? Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I mean, the bottom two right now, I think are gonna go. No Norwich matter Watford. what. Norwich yeah, Watford. Norwich Watford. Yeah. Um, Go on, throw, I, throw I personally, on uh, Villa, Villa are seventeenth, uh, right? Yeah, Villa. I personally, I think it's a little bit biased because there's a few players on Villa that I 
I don't want to be anywhere near the Premier League. I'm just I, telling I you now, you, you, you're not a fan of Jack Grealish, I know you're not. Not at all. Well, no. look, if they go down, he's going to go anyway. He's going to go that's, somewhere else. That's yeah. my thing. And, and, <clears throat> but I, I really, really like Jota. And I want him to stay in the Premier League. But I want... It's, it's a little bit weird how I have it. it. I mean, this happens every single year. I want... There's teams that want to go down that have good players on it that I want Premier Leagues to teams to buy them to keep them into the Premier League. Yeah, Which I mean I, like that John McGinn's decent. Exa- yeah, yeah, they've got some decent players. But yeah, 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 there's a few. There's a few. Trez- I, is it Trezeguet? Trezeguet. I, yeah. I like Trezeguet. I'm not. I, 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 I'm not too bothered if he stays in or not. But I do. I wouldn't mind. What about that. Danny? I, Drake, I think he's definitely Danny Drake Water. You think he's gonna? <laughs> So, uh, to be fair, I think, we, I think we. I mean, then again, that City game, he set up most of their goals. You know, yeah, it, I he could be done. I'm not saying done. Uh, he could be done out. He's of the been Premier he's League. been caught out in some weird nightclub situations. Oh, like, yeah. oh, so so what? Okay, so <clears throat> I, I that's want, not speculative. I want Villa because, um, <clears throat> but I don't so want saying, someone to buy Grealish. Okay, at the, so it comes with a clause. It's pretty much I want I want I want Grealish out the Premier League. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I want Watford, Norwich, and Grealish to go. Down. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, he'll yeah. come. I'm All sure. Right. What, I'm what sure does he do different to Mason Mount? Who Grealish? Yeah. Uh, we I don't have better. enough. Does he fall more? Than we him? don't. We don't have enough time in this podcast. <laughs> to get into He's it. better than do Mason Mount. Week. We'll do it next week. You. It's. I, I don't understand. I'm just going to throw no, in no, there no. too. Phil Foden is better than. Oh, than both of them, and the fact that yeah. Mount's been called up to England. And Foden yeah, I agree. That's I agree. Shambles, I agree with that. It is a disgrace. And I, I do like Mason Mount. I like him and Abraham coming in. I like what happened because I was just, I was yeah, so yeah. down. Everything. I Hazard left, and I was like, all right, we're not making Champions League. We're going to end up seventh or something. I'm, I'm fairly. I'm do you not remember saying, that you're already hitting the wardrobe for two days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 fairly happy, but then again, that's me being like I think Chelsea are better than they actually. All right are. then, all right yeah. then. Let's let's say let's be realistic and say City are banned. Uh, obviously, Liverpool. for at least a year. Who's well, got, let me let me who's give going my, to be a Champions League. Let me let me give my bottom three real quick. <clears throat> I thought you oh, yeah. done yours, mate. Did you? No, I didn't. Oh, uh, sorry, I, didn't I said Norwich and Watford to go down, and I think it'll be. So I, I I think Villa. Uh, I can see Bournemouth going. I think it's going to be Norwich, Sacrilege, Watford. Mate, you can't. I know. I, I don't oh. want it to be, but wanting something and, and yeah, no, something yeah, happening. I, I think what just happened then with them with the VAR, which I think was correct in the most sense. Yeah, I, it was. It just sucks that it happened to them. I think, like, I'm a statistics person. I think if you get so unlucky that you're not going to get unlucky again for a while. Statistics person. <laughs> Did I say statistics? Sadistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, you said you said it right. Yeah. Statistics. Yeah. I just didn't know you were a statistics person. I've known you what 24, 25 years. Twenty four. Right. How long have you know, been on an income? Do you know? <laughs> statistics uh, person. Uh, no, no. I'm saying if, if, well, you, go by, if you go by logic. Yeah, I'm trying to have a joke. I know I was. All right, so, <laughs> <laughs> so did you, this isn't a comedy podcast. Did you, yeah, I don't expect right, you. Yeah. You, so let's go on okay. to Champions League then. All right. Okay. What do you think? This year or uh, what yeah, do you mean? that's it. Next year, yeah, this the finish of this season. Yeah, who's going to be playing? If I, I, City I, want C- I want City to. Oh, win. you're saying who's going to make it in? Wait, are we talking about this season's competition? Who's going to win no, it? No, no, no. Who's going, who's to, make going it to make it into Champions League? We went the, from you, you know, international funny? thing, relegation, then. The City ban is going to get United into the Champions League next season. So what think. we're saying is, <laughs> yeah, fifth, fifth spot Four. is, I mean, undeservedly <clears throat> because I mean, I don't know, I. I yeah, lot. but you know what? Here's what's going to happen, though. Just back to the ban is City are going to fight the ban, and they're not going to resolve it guys, by the time can you next guys season's fill me competition. Into the ban around. a little bit more because I'm, I'm a little bit in the dark with it. I think it's yeah. Just so it's an it's, it's an FFP. It's an Over FFP. The last 10 years. It's an FFP ban, right? So basically, what they're saying is City have spent more on players than they've made in uh, income, and and they're saying that they they overstated the sponsorship from Etihad. That's like the simple... I mean, there's obviously a lot more to it, but they're yeah, saying they yeah, overstated no, yeah, how yeah. much Etihad... Because obviously, their sponsorship is their owner's company. You know, it's... Yeah. it's you know, it's, yeah, they're their own sponsor. Yeah, Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, technically, it's like whatever they're making... Is you know, theirs. who knows that... I, but there's got to be then, other clubs that are that just mean? doing just as bad. I mean, PSG... How, how did PSG buy Neymar and Mbappe? And... 
you know, we need to actually. Di Maria. Di, yeah. yeah, I mean, whoever. And um, in, in uh, Insigne. Or, yeah, no, yeah. no. Um, oh, um, the Argentinian guy. Uh, Icardi. Icardi. They, yeah. just, they just buy yeah. everyone. So, how is City any worse? And, I mean, City's transfer record were. Because it hasn't passed the 10. But look, years if any yet. serious happens, <laughs> yeah. this will probably not come out, won't it? Yeah, it but. Won't be the only one. My point is that uh, my point is that I think City are going to fight it and then I think it'll be pushed back so far because right. I've had the legal proceedings right. so I, I hope so I, I think next season City will be in the Champions League but let's just say you, th- oh, you think they'll allow them even <clears throat> though they, well, they'll well, push what, hap- what about the whole Chelsea ban that didn't get pushed back did it no but that was proven that they signed underage players like it was just it wasn't pushed back alright let's, look at, let's yeah. look at let's look at it a different way let's say City win it this year and are automatically in Oh, do they give, give an give extra a, spot yeah, that, to yeah. England? They'll still be the extra spot, yeah. That's Does it a give weird another one. spot to England? Like I just said, this <clears> is... No, but it, it, should, City, it won't. It won't because... The City band's going to put United it, it in the It won't because the, the focus is that the team who won it is in it again. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know, actually. So do, who's, do they get who's to your be, spare one, then? Do they get to be you in think a, it's, You think it's going to be Liverpool, Chelsea... Uh, <laughs> Leicester? Leicester are going to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think that. Yeah, I think that. the one? You think United? No, no. I'm saying I think this is all. It's going to be. Mate, that Chelsea aren't safely in there. I'm not, gonna, that's why I'm saying. Four yeah. points. I'm yeah. going to go completely left field here. Well, Don't. Sheffield United. Sheffield no United. Way. Wow, that'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah, if they that, finish that fifth, we're talking about if City are banned and that fifth spot <clears throat> is given. Hold on, do do is this just from Europe? So City can't even go in the Europa. Can't go in Europa League. Okay. It's UEFA. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. The I don't, I don't, the Europa League's the, their version of the Carabao Cup. It's, right. it's still a <clears throat> that's Man United's it's still league, something. Isn't it? That's Man United's tournament. Yeah, we'll leave it to Man United, but they Th- might Thursday, they might not even Thursday make it. Thursday football. Still something in <laughs> yeah, the, Thursday night. Um, who was it? Slatin that says I don't play football on Thursday. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. When he signs, so anyway, he says a lot of things. Don't oh, he's anyway, that's that's mine. I, my the extra team. Let's. Just, Call it the extreme. I, I I would take Sheffield United. What do you think? All right, um, um, we'll wrap this up. If you put I, money I, you on know it, what? you would I'll tell say you Sheffield I'd United. Like to, I tell you who I'd like it to be. Wolves. Yeah, well, you're going even further than I am. No, no, yeah, no. I I, I agree, one hundred percent. Wolves. I think they deserve it as mm-hmm. well. Just, you're taking uh, Wolves over, over United points. and Tottenham. Yeah. Like realistically, I think I it's between. Tottenham I think it's anyone. between Tottenham and. and have you I seen Tottenham? Tottenham, Tottenham, Tottenham don't have Son or Kane anymore. No, I understand. I understand. But I, I, I mean, you don't need Kane, Son or Ericsson to park the bus like Jose Mourinho does, you know? Oh, and Mourinho, oh, yeah. No. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Don't if like if they right. don't make Champions League, does Mourinho go? Can't, so, your Wolves and Wolves. No, your, I think Mourinho stays your, until he gets fired. Your Sheffield anyway. United, Jordy. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. All right. <laughs> Just saying. That, I never thought that would be a conversation right there. What do you mean? Mourinho stays everywhere until he gets fired. <laughs> That's just... Anyway, that's a, that's a whole new Still episode we're starting right swinging, here. Yeah. So, <laughs> thank you so much for listening, uh, everybody who is listening. Uh, again, this was the first episode, so we probably messed it up royally, but it felt good to me, and hopefully it felt good to you guys. Uh, we're gonna, we'll do another one next week. Um, we'll keep this rolling. It's good that it gives me a chance every week to come out and have a few pints with me, boys. Yeah, and... Um, yeah. Just shit on football, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to Five Pints In. We'll be back with you next week. Cheers, everyone.